Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne. Can you hear the excitement in my voice? I am fresh off my accomplishment, my only real tangible accomplishment to date inside of Nuclear Throne, and that is unlocking horror. Alright, we're gonna play as horror. We're just gonna see what the heck this is all about. Here we go, first time playing as horror. I really like the look of horror. Uh, okay, nope, didn't want to do that. Uh, so again, I think it's sort of a, a, a risk, uh, cost-benefit analysis to, as to when to use the ability of horror. Probably a little bit like uh, Rebel, actually, because horror does that. And, uh, hmm, so it seems like I got some of that back. I wonder. I wonder if you actually do get, uh, do you, do you get it back? It's a good question. Also, I wonder what happens when you level up. Can you actually lose a level shooting your laser? Or is it only the current level of radiation that you have? All right, well, let's just spam the laser a little bit, just get a feel for it. Uh, let's go down here and over here, and let's spam that laser. Okay, yeah, it seems like uh, you, you get it. You get some of it back, so that's good. Uh, that's positive. Maybe not as much risk involved here as I thought, though I did just... Wow. Okay. Uh, you know, we're playing around here. We're just we're just kind of experimenting with the with, with the character. So you know, no real uh, designs on uh, getting to the nuclear throne. Hell, I don't even expect to get to the sewers this time around. Uh, you got to dodge. Moving back from that crystal mindset because I did just literally finish the last episode. Got to move away from that crystal mindset of uh, actually being able to uh, solidify, if you will, crystallize and tank those uh, incoming shots. Actually got a dodge. Actually got a dodge. Just ingraining that into my own head. Nicely done. Definitely don't want to waste a bolt on a single maggot. Okay, that was... I'll call that a dodge. Sure. Now let's pepper in a little love. There you go. So I'm kind of trying to keep an eye on my level of radiation up in the upper left-hand corner and just see if I'm getting 100% of it back. Uh, it seems like roughly 100%, sure. Yeah, that looks about 100%. So that's good. Uh, that is really good. Um, it actually, I guess it does mean that, you know, you only have a certain amount of... Uh, well, no, no, I didn't get it all back there. So maybe you only get back what misses. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so that answers another question. When you level up, you only have access to the radiation that is left... Okay, so if you hit, I guess if you hit, it's sort of a zero sum. You 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 use up you use up experience to gain experience, I guess. So missing means a refund, and hitting means uh, losing that XP. Which you know, uh, it is like I said, zero uh, zero sum. Just you're you're trading XP for a kill. That's interesting. I'll shy away from the grenade launcher this time. I suppose there's probably some strategy uh, to be to be uh, had here about you know not allowing yourself to level up at certain points, or potentially some strategy. Those higher level players who know what the heck they're doing uh, can think about stuff like that. For me, I'm just going to try to think about uh, killing maggots, not getting hit, not doing really stupid stuff. Okay, game really wants me to have a grenade launcher. Uh, wow, really? Is that three on this level? One, two, and three. All right, well, I'm a little bit low on explosives, so what the hell? Wait, which one? Uh, uh, yeah, this is the one. Yeah, that's the one that you want right there. All right, moving on. So we're experimenting with the ability, kind of learning uh, learning how our good friend horror works, and uh, kind of enjoying it so far. So you can see, instead of four options, we have five I think I like scarier face here. Uh, more HP is always really good for me. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go for a bit of a scarier face. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you for saving me. Actually, you know, Grenade Launcher, let's use you for just a minute. I was about to uh, lament my fate uh, dying to the Grenade Launcher, but, uh, you know, the Grenade Launcher has some uses. 
grenade launcher definitely has its uses. So let's actually be advantageous. Let's uh, use that grenade launcher for for, for good. <laughs> oh, didn't like that one bit. Hey, a pop gun. Okay. Still not real sure on what the heck the pop gun even does at this point. Uh, I think it is supposed to emulate uh, YV's ability to do, do the pop, but uh, not really sure. Now, this is a place where I can get shot. <laughs> I was about to say, this is a spot where we can use the uh, grenade launcher to great effectiveness, but of course you have to pay attention. You, you actually want to look and make sure that you're, uh, you're shooting. Uh, yeah, probably should have quick started there, but uh, quick restarted, but you know, my fingers aren't always as nimble as they should be, as you should know from watching this series. Ammunition, what do we have in our weapon grab bag here? Wow, hit that guy. 10 bullets is all it took. Uh, so this is the third consecutive time that I've gotten a crossbow as my first level red chest weapon. Uh, that is uh, interesting, I maybe. So I wonder what happens if you're playing as horror and you can you still spawn horror? I mean, I'm gonna guess no. And Lord knows I'm not gonna try. <laughs> there are players out there I'm sure who already have, uh, already have answered that question. Players whose prowess at this game uh, far exceed mine. All right, so trying to uh, trying to learn, you know, when to take advantage of our massive laser weapon. Okay, somehow got out of there with no damage. I'll I'll, I'll definitely take that. Uh, you know, I think right now, as someone who uh, who is pretty uh, lackluster at using those uh, using the uh, activated abilities. You know, a laser weapon not necessarily up my alley. Uh, and the fact that, you know, you, you are sacrificing, or you appear to be sacrificing uh, some disc gun. No, thank you. Uh, you appear to be sacrificing some experience in order to use it. Uh, yeah. It's, I, I'm sure that this is another one of those characters that will have a following amongst certain styles of players, uh, but I just don't think, uh, whoa... I don't know that he's he's necessarily going to fit uh, my particular playstyle. My particular playstyle of being really poor at remembering those active abilities. But for some reason, I don't have a problem at all with Crystal's active ability. So maybe I just need to rewire my brain. Hmm. All right. Sharp teeth. Damage taken is dealt to all enemies on screen. Bloodlust. Some kills will regenerate HP. Laser brain. Energy weapons deal more damage. And extra feet. That third leg there. More speed. I think we are going to go with uh, Bloodlust. Sure. Uh, so let's concentrate here. Let's actually uh, try to get down to business. Try to uh, play well. Haven't made it to the scrapyard in a couple episodes. So uh, this will be the second consecutive episode if I don't make it to the scrapyard. That feels kind of like a wasted... Uh, well, that's a pretty... Okay, that, I was trying to gauge the damage on that, and I don't know that it did a whole ton of damage. Uh, but it did, you know, some. It did a fair amount. I, and I think that's sort of the thing that uh, some of your better players are, are going to suss out or uh, sort of figure out over the, uh, over the next little bit. How effective is the laser? It, does it work? And of course, Vlambeer, I'm sure, are monitoring that as well. How's the laser? Uh, what's the, the cost versus the benefits of the laser? Is it actually worth it to even use it? Wow, didn't that damage you didn't need to take. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm starting a new uh, a new web series, Damage I Didn't Need to Take. Uh, let's play around with the pop gun here. I really like that crossbow, though. Again, I get the crossbow? Is that... Wow, okay, yeah, lots of crossbow. Uh, okay, so... It's shooting slugger. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Pop gun. I, I don't understand it. Got some HP up here. I like that. Get us back up to six. And here we go. Scarier face. Always a good one. Anytime I see that lovely crystal mug, I always know I'm in for something good. Or that lovely crystal bottom from Throne Butt. Shotgun fingers. Of course, we don't have a shotgun, so that's not going to do much. Uh, second stomach. Potentially very, uh, very useful. Uh, stress. Don't really like it. Don't really know what's up with stress. Um, probably secretly a great skill that I just don't understand. And uh, eagle eyes. Uh, yeah, scare your face. Hopefully killing a few of these things in uh, slightly less hits. 
So let's not repeat the last uh, time we were on the sewers. We uh, actually ran out of ammo. And that was uh, embarrassing, to say the least. Uh, but also uh, derailed an otherwise good run. In fact, the run where we unlocked Horror, which was really looking to, uh, to be a decent run, uh, completely and totally derailed on the sewers because we could not uh, hit things to conserve ammo or find any ammo. Uh, so I'm going to blame the game. Stupid random spawns. Yeah. Uh, right, because it wasn't the hundred shots that I missed prior to that. But also, I think while I was concentrating on getting horror, I probably wasn't concentrating on those fundamentals, making sure that I'm holding the right weapon when I pick up ammo crates, stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, you know, most likely, uh, most likely did it to myself. I mean, most definitely did it to myself. Um, there are very few times where this game has, uh, has given me cause to believe that it has screwed me in one way or another. Machine gun. All right, let's go machine gun. Uh, replace the revolver, and then grab more bullets. And finish up the level, making it to the scrapyard. All right, joy, celebrate. We can now die on the scrapyard. Not bad, not bad. All right, really glad that that fire actually has range to it. Uh, otherwise, I would be burnt to a cinder. Right, okay. Oh, missed that ammo. Really needed that ammo. Oh, the minigun. I don't think I have the ammo to support the minigun right now, so uh, let's move on from the minigun here. We'll pat it on the head and move on our way. Getting a little hairy down here. Maybe I can deploy some precision crossbowing. There we go. Missing some XP there. Never liked that. Don't know why I didn't change. Uh, okay, yep, reload. Uh, not missing anything down there. Doesn't look like I'm missing anything, and we're good to go. Here we go, leveling up once again. Our mutations are sharp teeth. Boiling veins. Yeah, boiling veins. Extra speed. Laser brain. Rabbit paw. Gotta go for boiling veins at this point. Uh, you know, we are above 50% life, uh, but... It's the sort of thing that I do uh, definitely think is super valuable, especially here, because, you know, things happen like that car explodes. So that's something that you want to... Uh, whoops, not what I meant to do. Uh, I think one possible uh, use of the laser here is, uh, you know, when you miss that uh, crossbow shot, it takes a little while for that crossbow to reload. And uh, I think that's probably a pretty useful way... Oh no, you get away from me right now, thank you. I did suffer a hit, luckily, you know, now I'm immune to explosions. Uh, but not fire. Or at least I don't think I'm immune to fire. I, I can't remember the full text all of a sudden. Blow, blow up, blow up, thank you. Sir, didn't, didn't really do anything, didn't blow up, but I felt like I had accomplished something because uh, I demanded that it explode and with a significant amount of effort, it finally, don't shoot him, don't, don't shoot him. What did he ever do to you? Uh, all right, now we're going to deal with the popo, which is not what I'm looking for right now. All right, good, good. Bloodlust doing work for us here. Oh, fuck, fuck, let's just go ahead and kill him. Oh, 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 oh okay, 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 okay. All right, I don't, don't like that. Using my favorite ability against me. I don't like that for certain. Uh, okay, so... Things are not going great. Uh, not at all. We've got HP. We've got triple machine guns that we don't want. Uh, what do we have here? We got a an IPD somewhere down here, making my life miserable. Did we? Did we? Seriously? Did we miss something? Oh, some crows. Just some crows. A lot of crows. Wow. Okay, I only have to brave the fire to... Oh, the fire stopped. Excellent. Good game design. All right, now... Okay, okay, that's happening. Let's use all the XP. 
And we've got the biggest of dogs here, so let's clear, and then let's see what we can do. Didn't need to take that damage. Oh, man. Really, really not happy about that. Okay. All right. Things... Oh, missile. Ah, I was actually doing some dodging there that I was kind of proud of for a moment. Kind of ready to pat myself on the back for that, and then... Uh, Things just got a little bit too hairy. I was actually uh, pretty pretty happy that I got the clear out. I didn't panic when that level initially started out really, really poorly. And uh, yeah, actually uh, accomplished something. I was, I, was, I was calm. I was collected. I uh, form formulated a strategy. Um, what, what's happened to me? <laughs> in, in five short episodes, I've, uh, I've actually started to learn how to play this game a little. Not to pat myself on the back too much, that is the first time I've, I've gotten to the scrapyard in two episodes. Uh, so I think that's the first time I didn't get the crossbow out of my, my uh, red weapons crate. Love the slugger. Fantastic weapon. Mainly because it does that. It kills those uh, scorpions in one mighty blow. And we know there's nothing up there, so we don't have to worry. Good. For level 1. Level one. Uh, wow. I had a weird time paradox of speech there. Level 1, level 1. Uh, we did get a mutation on uh, the first level, so... Super happy days, back muscles, uh, higher ammo max. I actually like that, gamma guts. Um, that can be a positive thing, but so many enemies actually hurt you upon touching them that I lose track. Homing bolts. Uh, the first time, yeah, we don't have the crossbow this time, and we have homing bolts up for grab sharp teeth. And impact wrists. Now, impact wrists, uh, an amazing ability, especially in places like the sewers, and uh, even in those wide open spaces like that 3-3 uh, that we fought there on the uh, scrapyard, sending those corpses flying everywhere, hitting uh, hitting things, killing each other, really, really great. And I think actually, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and pick it because I do enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, I think that's one of, those, uh, one of those things that I have in the past underestimated, the value of the uh, bounce damage. Many, many, uh, many, many times I have actually gotten kills off of bounce damage. Uh, many times I don't even realize that I've, I've, I've gotten kills off bounce damage. Uh, but uh, they definitely happen, and they are definitely a skill that, a, 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 a tactic that is worth buffing uh, when you get a chance like that. Alright, ton of XP over here, all the way up to level 3. I like it. Nothing more satisfying than earning, uh, earning a level, a mutation per level. Yeah, just absolutely, absolutely love it. Okay, what what is still alive here? I don't remember leaving anything living in the wake of my carnage. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. That was pretty funny. That thing exploded. Those guys died. And the bounce damage actually pretty much cleared them all out. So we can't take the shotgun, of course, because uh, we already have a slugger. Uh, though the shotgun is a nice option. I do like the spread on it. Gets in there and bounces around a lot. Uh, recycle and thrown butt. I gotta take thrown butt. Bigger radiation canisters. Uh, it's extremely valuable. Keep that level train going. Uh, let's just see. Is there anything that could possibly... Possibly dissuade me? No. Pretty excited about this. Pretty excited indeed. There we go. You can hear kills happening uh, based on, whoa, uh, just based on the fact that well, that's not, that's not good at all. Let's just, let's just clear out here. Let's, let's get a clear out. Oh, look at that radiation canister, that glorious radiation canister. I will take it. Okay. Uh, so let's, uh, yeah. Hmm, heartbreak, heartbreak. But again, I didn't panic. Um... Again, uh, patting myself furiously on the back there, uh, I, I, I maintained it was a tough level. Special spawn, uh, scorpion, plus a boss. I, I, I contained, I didn't necessarily dodge well, but I contained my, uh, I contained my horror uh, with horror and actually uh, made it through. So, God, I, I, I think I'm getting a little bit better at this game. I mean, my progress wouldn't necessarily indicate that, but fundamentals are improving. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks, as always, for the support on any of my videos. Uh, check out my uh, 
IndieBox video from a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't, um, the other IndieBox is here, and I am thinking about making a video on that, but a lot of time went into that, and I'm not really sure that uh, it balances out in the end. But if you're interested, let me know. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.